Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Global Intercessory Prayer. I'm Prophet Tori Smith along with Prophet Adams. Amen. It's good to see everyone this morning. Amen. We ask everyone to take part of the broadcast. Come on to the table. The table is being spread and the feast of the Lord is going on at this time. Y'all come on in. Y'all come on in. And be seated at the table. The spread is about to go forth. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for each and every person that's um, that wake up with us, support us, be partakers of the word, eat with us, and just feast with us every every morning. Um, in the prayer, we come on at five a.m. every morning. At five a.m. every morning, um, um, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays we have our um, uh, testimony Tuesdays, and we have thankful Thursdays on on Thursday, uh, where the phone lines will open up at six a.m. Amen. We thank God for the word this morning. We thank God for life, health, and strength. And we thank God for being who he is. Because God is a good God. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God this morning. Amen. Amen. So we're just asking everyone just to take part of the broadcast. Invite someone. Um, share, the, share the broadcast with someone. Amen. Amen. Um, this morning, um, as you know, uh, go with intercessory prayer goes seven days a week, uh, beginning at five a.m. every morning. On, on our on our Wednesday broadcast, on uh, Wednesday evenings, we have sound doctrine with, with our very own Prophet Adams. That sound doctrine, that sound doctrine is um is aired through YouTube live, Amen. And when we aired through YouTube live, um, the woman of God comes forth with a great word. Come forth with a great word from um, from God um, on Wednesday nights at seven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I was just asking everyone just to please take part and just continue to be a supporter of the word. Amen. And on Friday nights we have our um, the Friday night Bible study, which is tonight. We will be coming back tonight with the Friday night Bible study hosted by myself and Prophet Adams. And we thank God for the word tonight. And, and we pray that you guys will just support us in whatever we do in the word. Amen. Sound doctrine. Inspirational sound doctrine. Amen. Amen. So uh, with that being said, this morning, I'm going to go ahead and pray. And we're going to let the Holy Spirit have its way. Lord, Heavenly Father, God, we come to you right now, Lord God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your abundance of your word, Lord Father. We thank you for your actions that you take with us, Lord Father. Lord, because love is an action word, Lord Father, and you demonstrate nothing but love for us. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your knowledge, your wisdom, and your understanding. Lord, we ask that you will continue just to sh sh show, up and show up and show out in our lives, Lord Father. Oh, Lord God. For you're the potter and we're your clay, God. Mold us and shape us. Lord, remove all iniquities, all sin, infirmities, and anything that's not like you, Lord Father. We ask for the removal of those things, Lord Father. And we just want to thank you, Lord Father, for saving saving us, Lord Father. Saving the loved ones that we care about, Lord Father. And even the ones that haven't been saved yet, Lord Father. We just ask that you would step in in your timing, Lord Father. And in your will when, when you're ready to do so, Lord Father. Lord, Lord you have your way, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord Father, for, for no accident for uh, doing this week. No, 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 uh, no strokes, no heart attacks, no, no um heat strokes, no just nothing, Lord Father, where the enemy would be glorified. But Lord, Lord God, you get all the glory and all that you say and all that you do. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God this morning. Amen. May yeah, God have his way this morning. This is global intercessory prayer. Again, I'm Prophet Tori Smith along with Prophet Adams. Amen. Amen. We're going to go on and see who all are on here this morning to help share the broadcast. Amen. Amen. We're going greet to our, greet our family members. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Sister Mary Johnson. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. 
Hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and share the broadcast. Amen. We thank, again, we thank God for being in the land of living this morning. Amen. 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 God, he has been too good to us. He's always been good to us. It's us that dropped the ball. So this morning, we're just asking everyone just to please come in with a um, heart of a, a heart of expectation, a heart of a joy and peace, happiness. Amen. 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 I thank God. I thank God this morning. I thank God for life, health, and strength. Amen. Somebody didn't get up this morning. Somebody, somebody wanted to get up, but didn't have the opportunity to come move their arms and their and their legs and all their limbs. They couldn't move them. But, but God, so He saw fit that we could. So, so with that being said, we just need to thank God and give Him the glory this morning. Amen. 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 I thank God. I thank God. I thank God this morning. Amen. Amen. Um, you see, I I have been reading. Um, I have been reading a word. I, I'm going to turn to it right quick. Let me go back to where I was. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. Okay, yeah. Um, the the word this morning, um, uh, we'll be coming out of uh, Second Thessalonians three. Second Thessalonians three. We're coming. We're gonna be coming from Second Thessalonians three. Amen. Amen. Second Thessalonians three. Amen. 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 Second only in three. Um, and it's and it reads like this. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may be may have free course and be glorified, and even as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. Amen. So, 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 in, in, the, in just the introduction, um, scriptures is telling us, it said, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may be free course and be glorified. Be glorified that, that the word of God is going to be glorified, even as it is with you, that we may be delivered from unreasonable. And wicked men, for all men have not faith. So, so he's, he's letting you know that all men don't have the faith. That there, there are going to be some men that's going to try to keep you in captivity, keep you, keep you in bondage. But there are some situations that are going to try to keep you um, tamed and, 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 and keep you in control. They're like their father, the devil. They're, 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 they're always going to be trying to uh, stay one up on you. Then it says in verse three, but the Lord is faithful. Who shall establish you? So, so God, uh, he's already saying that he, he's the one that's establishing you. He's the one that's keeping you. He's the one that's keeping you focused. He's the one that's operating, operating behind the scenes and, and, and in front of the scenes. God is saying, I, I am I am the way, the truth, and the light. He said, he said, but the Lord is faithful. Who to establish you and keep you from evil? So all those evil doings, all the ones that had spread all those evil things about you, said those evil things about you, kept up all that mess in your life. God, God, God said, "I will keep you." He said, "But the Lord is faithful who to establish you and shall keep you from evil." And we have confidence in the Lord touching you. See, see, you got to be positioned so w w where the Lord can be able to touch you. Because uh, just like God commands us not to touch no unclean thing, he's not going to touch no unclean thing. He's not going to touch an un unclean person. And it says, we have confidence in the Lord touching you, that you both do and will do things which we command you. So so, so th th there's, a, th there's a command. There's a command. Uh, we always have to listen to the Lord. 
we always had to be uh, um, operating um, in obedience to him. Obedience is key with Christ. You can't do your own will. You can't do what you want all the time with Christ. Amen. There's a submission. Submission is, is, a, is a powerful word. Submission. But submit your lives over to Christ. Submit yourself to Christ. And, and then he says that ye both do and will do things which we command you. Verse 5 says, and the Lord directs your heart in, 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 into the love of God. He's gonna he's gonna direct you, he's gonna lead you, he's gonna bring you unto the path that of love. That's his that's his righteous path. Those are his orders that he has for you. And, and those direct paths. And then he said, into the patient waiting of, for Christ. The see, see with the, the Christ is, the Christ is patience. The, like the old saying. All good things come to those that wait. You have to have patience for Christ because you can't always get what you want in all times when you want it. Got that right. And that's the, the, the rule number one. Amen. See, 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 and, and see, there's a thing in Christ called long suffering with patience and, 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 and virtue and guidance. And, 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 and as you become more mature in Christ, you'll be able to understand that language. And just like we always say on the broadcast, everything has everything has a look. God has a look as well. All God looks are 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 are, are, are glorious, are, are are in His image. It's it just like it's it just like the um, it's it just like all His attributes He has. Amen. And then it says in verse six. <coughs> oh um um um, Prophet William, Second Thessalonians three. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Verse six says, "Now we command you, brethren, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that ye uh, withdraw yourselves from every brother that walk with disorderly." And see, see, again, it's telling you, be not partakers of, of, of the ones that don't know Christ or, or, or that don't want to receive Him. Again, I'm gonna read that again. Now we command you, brethren, a command. It's a command. It, it, it's not an option. It, it's a command. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that you will draw yourself from every brother that walketh in disorderly. That means keep up chaos, keeping up mess, lying, fornication, adultery, slander. And not after the traditions in which he have received of us. And then it says in verse 7: For, for yourselves know how ye ought to follow us. But we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. So we are the example. We are examples of Christ. Just like Christ is, is the example to us, we are being examples to each other. We are not to walk in disorderly. We, we, we are not to be messy. We're not to be out here and, and creating all kind of havoc and, and, and disorderly and, and, and just being mad all the time and, and being angry. If you're a child of God, get uh, there are attributes you're supposed to have. You're supposed to have love, peace, joy, happiness, meekness, temperance. Those are attributes of Christ. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you know what? And I always heard this growing up. You can't be you can't be mad and, and you can't worship God. At, I mean, um, you can't be angry having an attitude and worshiping God at the same time. Mm-hmm. It don't mix. It don't mix because you know what? What worship will do, worship will pull, pull, pull that love out of you. It will pull that, it, it will pull that, uh, that oneness that you have with Christ out of you. Mm. And then, uh, again, it says, for yourselves know how you ought to, to follow us, for we behave not ourselves in disorderly among you. We have a standard. We have a standard that we had to live before before the people, before the world, before the sinners, because they're already against us. So 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 if we out there partaking in their way of living and they and how they drinking and how they smoking and how they partying, then how are we gonna ever win them over? How, how is our light gonna shine? 
Amen. Then in verse 8 says, Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you. They didn't eat in they didn't go into any man's house and just eat of anything. It had to be it had to be a strict diet, it had to be a strict foundation of how they were living. You can't go over to Peter's house. And and and, 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 and uh, eat all Peter groceries and and Peter and, and Peter don't uh, he don't fast he don't pray he got all kind of alcohol and stuff he got all kind of wines and stuff in his house and, and and you know all the junk food over at Peter house but then you but then you go back home and you and you and you living a fasting lifestyle uh, may I interject right here yeah yeah go ahead. with this um you are um. You on eight, right? Yeah, I'm on eight. See, it say neither did we eat any man's bread for naught. It's saying, it's letting us know that they didn't just go up in no man's house just eating they just eating up all their food and didn't pay for anything. They didn't just come in and they didn't contri didn't contribute. They ain't come in and just eat and didn't contribute. It said neither did we eat any man's bread for nothing. See, that's what that for naught mean. That mean it's for nothing. But we but wrath with labor and travailing night and day. But see, we came in and whatever they gave us, whenever they fed us, we came in and we worked for it. We made clean the dishes we may have did what we needed to do we didn't mm -hmm. just come in and just eat and take 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 but we came in and we did our part we participate that's just like your children you feed them they may don't have no money to contribute to rent or nothing of that nature but they may come in and do the chores that's part of their contribution for the meal that they was given right so when you have company and guests over you offer them and you feed them they may come in and say you know i'll do the dishes you know what i'm saying we'll do the dishes you know what i'm saying they didn't they contribute that's what they saying we didn't just come in they ain't talking about fasting it's just talking about we didn't come in and didn't take from nobody we didn't come and just take from y'all but we came and contribute everything that y'all gave us we contribute we didn't we, we didn't rob y'all it was fair exchanges no robberies mm -hmm. night and day that 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 we might not be chargeable see that we may not be in chargeable we may not have no expenses when we leave to any of you that we when we leave we don't owe y'all see we, we we didn't come in and just eat up eat y'all stuff up for nothing but whatever y'all gave us whatever y'all offered us whatever y'all service does with we came in and contributed some things to y'all so we could be fair exchange no robberies when we leave this place we don't have no expenses we don't oh, we don't have no debts when we leave we don't watch y'all feeling a certain type of way when we leave amen 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 yeah, thank God. Um, nah. then, in, then verse nine says, um, "Not because we have not, not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you and to follow right. us." Right. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he letting us know, and it, and it not because we didn't have the power, because we were anointed by God with the power that we told us. He told us to move and maneuver without persons. We didn't have to come and pay for anything, but we wanted to show y'all how it's supposed to be done. As saints, we don't just use people, right? But whatever we whatever we coming for, we gonna leave a tip. We gonna leave an offer. We gonna leave a contribution. We gonna do something so that when we leave here, we don't owe no debts. We ain't gonna just we ain't coming to just use y'all up because we're because we have the power because we have power because we are we we are, we're pastors that we're we're leaders that don't mean we come and use y'all up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, verse ten says, "For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work." neither shall he eat see don't feed me if i ain't working see that's how our kids earn they keep at the house we feeding them we clothing them we're putting a roof over their head so they do chores this is how they earn they keep this is how we train them as little people underage people as they're growing this is how we're training them and developing them and preparing them for the real world because when they go out in the world they ain't gonna be able to eat ain't nobody gonna feed them for nothing so we starting to train them about that at home. If I feed you, you gonna wash these dishes. Yeah, I'll cook for you, but you do the dishes. Yeah, okay, I'll go out here and work and make the money and bring it home. But you gotta put the groceries up. You got chores. You gotta do. You gotta earn your keep. Because if a man don't work, a man don't eat. Yeah. 
and, and we got so many women that's raising and ruining these young men, these young boys that's that's going to grow and develop into men because mama is doing everything for them versus making him take out, teaching him and training him how to take out the garbage, training him how to mop and swing that floor. I remember when I had a house full of boys, I, I wasn't swinging no mops. I ain't mopping no floors. <coughs> mop, throw my back out for why? That's a strenuous job on a woman if, for anybody that didn't know. Swinging mops and stuff, that's a really str strenuous job on women. Um, and so there's just certain stuff that I did. I trained my boys that the women sh just shouldn't do. She shouldn't be mopping up the floors. Now I may, I may vacuum up everything, but they would come and swing. Bishop would come and swing that mop across the floor. Bishop would mop them floors. Them boys, would, and if he was working or what have you, he would throw his chore down or pass his chore down on one of the boys or pay one of them to do it for him. But he, you know, everybody took part in chores in the house. Mm -hmm. You have to teach them how to do chores so that they can learn how to earn they keep and learn how to be productive citizens in society. See, you don't wait till they're 15 and old enough to get a job and then throw them out there in the world and say, you got to work for what you eat. No, you train them up at home. You make them earn their meals at the house. Teach them how to work for it. Else you'll be raising a bunch of monsters. Brothers that's out here now stealing and robbing and busting somebody across the head because somebody didn't train them on how they ought to earn their keep in life. They think somebody owes them something because mama and, G and grandma been doing everything for them. The devil is a lie. Amen. Then you say there ain't no good men out here because I guess what? Because grandma didn't raise any. She left, she let, she let, she let Uncle Bobo stay down in the basement till he was 59. Uncle Boosie was up on the couch while Uncle Bobo was down in the basement. Uncle Jackie was up in the attic. They ate, she ate and bedded these boys all they all till they 30s, 40s, and 50s. And you wonder why ain't no men, ain't no good men out there. No providers. Nobody know how to provide. You know, it's like, okay. They expect you to go get it, go make it, go cook it, slave for it, and then disrespect you and mishandle you in the, at the same doggone time. The devil is a lie. You got the right one at the wrong time. That is not how it's going to go down. I was looking at this, uh, watching the news, and this commercial came on, and it was about the, the young lady. Some movie must be coming out, and it's about the young lady who played on... Um, the best man who was the wife and the best and the best man it was she's starring in it and she fall for the maintenance guy who happened to be the contractor who had the landscaper who happened to be an uh, um um uh, uh, african man and um she fall for him and he and, and she tell him and they happened to have she brought, invited him over for dinner one night and he was explaining to her in his country you know the woman always served the man and that sister was making her plate and he thought she was he was she was gonna pass it back to him she turned around and looked at him and was like you basically and, and walked off like bro you in america jack here go a plate here go all the settings you better make your own plate or you won't eat i said see it's just establishing and showing the cultural difference differences between a lot of women. I wouldn't say it's between African women and American women because it's a whole lot of American women that has adapted, I mean, that have been developed and grown with a lot of different old old school, you know, traditions and things, or old school ways or services as well. But it just, I bust out laughing because I was like, wow, he didn't came to America. I seen, you know, the uh, I seen what they were saying. I said, oh, okay. I said, yeah. The subliminal message that was in there was like, yeah, y'all, you in America now, buddy. We don't do that here. Us women don't do that. We don't serve our men. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, wow. The great deception. I was like, wow. I was like, yeah, they show, they, they, I was like, wow. The great deception by the enemy. What is? I'm sorry. No, no, just how, how they twist up cultures and stuff. And, and just make you just like, just, like, like it's just uh, how they make how they make certain people look so bad mm -hmm. how they make certain certain group of people look so bad like they don't have no etiquette they don't have no no morals no aspiration in life they don't have like they all they don't want nothing out of life and it's like wow okay i didn't find it funny but i was like wow 
I was like, you know, I wasn't even astonished by it. I was just like, wow. Yeah, just like the movies, people. Yeah, they always do that. It, it was like that guy that they, they have that TV show I was telling you about. Um, what's his name? Kevin Daniels. Um, and, and and he was talking about um, he was talking about the modern day woman and and women, modern day women, and, and how they um, it has certain women come out of, of certain like um, um, homes uh, uh, or criteria in their home. And then, and then as they uh, grow up and, they, and then they get a certain level of prominence in, in like society and they, like, they, they go to school and stuff and, and then they better themselves. And then, then so uh, he was saying that these women now don't, they feel like a, a, a guy that works hard and makes probably forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year, he's not, he's not worthy enough for them. Mm -hmm. and, and they're looking for somebody that can make up like six hundred thousand a year and five hundred thousand a year, and but then but but then he was letting them know he was like, but what are you bringing to the table? And, and then so and so the women the women were like, well, 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 well I'm a good supporter and, and I can do this, I can do that, and and and, and, and so the gentleman um um oh whole, oh that guy the guy that I told you when you asked me about him I said yeah I know about him yeah the arrogant so, guy. Yeah, and so 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 he told me, he said, "Well, listen, how can you be a lover when when, when you never been tested? Um, when you go through some things in life, and 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 and, and, and say if that gentleman he stopped losing that four or five hundred hundred thousand dollars a year job, and he had to go back down to thirty or forty, will you love him in spite of? And and, 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 and and so almost every woman on there was like." Well I, well, I gotta keep up with my lifestyle. I gotta keep up with my values. I, I gotta keep up with this. Well, uh, but, but he can't do it. Somebody else will do it for him. But that's how the enemy will come in, and and and, and, and he will and he will call the um uh, uh, vision and and, and 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 I mean, just have you just thinking that you, your worth is much more than what you are really are. And, and men do the same thing, overextending yourself. Right. And that's what the word said. The word said, "Don't don't think of yourself more highly than than, than what you are, and don't think of yourself as go a goalie." Right. Amen. And we have to be mindful of that. I mean, it's good to have it's good to have some type of confidence about yourself, but it's a thin line. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's a thin line between being being um being um confident and being oh so sure. Um, and, and just being arrogant, cocky and, um, prideful mm. and, um, you have to walk and they do have, they do have looks. And, um, if you don't know the difference between them all, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's easy to get it misunderstood. You know, it's easy to get it misunderstood. You know, I, I, I you know, I, I definitely contested that. I've been misunderstood on so many levels. You know, there's a whole lot of folks. Oh, she's so she, she did she that? No, I ain't. I don't think I'm nobody. You know, I don't think I'm all that. It's a, I mean, because I'm because I'm sure about who I am. I, I know who I am. You know, I, you know, I'm not out here looking for who I am. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly what I bring to the table. I know exactly what I'm willing to deal with. I know exactly what I don't. What I'm not. Um because this ain't my first rodeo you know what i'm saying so i'm 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 not 25 35 45 years old you know i ain't giving my age out but you know what i'm saying i i ain't no baby you know what i'm saying i know i may look 25 you know hello thank you lord <laughs> <laughs> i know i may look 25 but baby you know what i'm saying i'd have been around a block or two maybe about yeah. three or four you know and so i i, I you know been doing this long enough to know i Certain stuff you just know who you just know who you are when you get to a certain place in life, you know when you didn't been to a certain low in life, you know you just learn as you as God develop you and build you up. You just learn your character. You learn who you are, and that's what this is about. God already knows who who we are. We are learning. The closer we get to Him, He's showing us better and better who we are. He's showing us more and more who we are. The more deeper and the more rooted and grounded you get in His Word, the more you begin to understand your value your worth who you are what you bring to the table what type of substance lies in you and i'm more than just hip thighs and and, and and lips baby it's a little more to me than just that after that is said after all that shaking and baking now who gonna pay these bills what we gonna do where we going sir right where are we going
Yeah, after all of that is said and done, I hope you got some sense of direction. Mm -hmm. Because just because I do, that don't mean I, I'm going to run this boat. Just because mm -hmm. I got a good sense of direction, that don't mean that I'm, your boat is mine to drive. Mm -hmm. Now, I ain't driving you nowhere. I'll co-pilot you wherever we need to go. You run out of fuel, boo, I got you. What we need to do, what we need, what's the quota, what's the deadline, I got you. But I, don't you know, you're going you gonna, you gonna to know your worth too. Trust. Mm -hmm. And you better. It's a must. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's just something that we ought to, as women, that's something we ought to demand from a man. You know, it's not demands like that, but that's something that should we should require. That should be a requirement. Let me let me let me tone it down that way, because I don't want nobody think, oh, she running around here putting demands on people. You know no, how folks, no, no, you no, know no, how no. folks say. Um, but it's true though, because you know what? It should be a demand with men, men, men with it's women. Doggone right! It should be a standard. There should be a requirement. Because, because you know what? It ain't no reason why if I if I got to go work eight nine hours, come home. And, and you at home all day, and it, and it ain't nothing cool, and no groceries in the house. My house and is a mess. Look, the house is a mess. And, Ooh, and it, clothes, it, laundry ain't washed and put together. I ain't got a clean towel to, to take a shower. Ooh, did I don't smell nothing coming up the steps. Oh lord. Yeah. And, 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 and then all you worry about is getting your nails done for the next oh, day. Oh, oh, see, well, see, well, see, I blame that on the man. Right? Because it's, Bob said a man that finds the wife finds the good thing. I blame yeah. that on him. See, he only picking from a sense of, 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 of he's he picking from a ship out of a ship without a sail. He picking from a place with a, a, from a ship without a sail. He ain't got no direction. So, so, so you, so, you know, birds and feathers flock together. You only are what you eat, you know? So when you, you, know, you know, picking you, what you are, we you only can go as far as what we are, right? You know, you know what those problems? I charge that. I charge that to a, a lot of men's youth. Yeah. Because you know what? I, I've been. I've been that same gentleman. I, I've. I've done that. So, but 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 you know, even with that said, now you know what you're looking for. You know. You know what. You know what a wife is now. You know when you find a good thing. You know when somebody, because you know you have other standards in front of you that that that, that show you. Um, that, that that you were looking at before, it wasn't just about hips, hips, fingertips, and <clears throat> and hips before. And to be perfectly, now. and to be perfectly honest with you, bro, none of that has nothing to do with finding a good thing. None of that. See, the good thing is one that you have selected that can assist you and co-pilot you on the assignment that God has given you. See, that's when you found a good thing because you got somebody, you got a partner that's going to partner up with you and tag team with you. I mean, partner up with you to push and encourage and pray you through to what God has called you to do. See, that's the good thing. See, we think a good thing is is one that big booty Judy. That ain't the good thing. That ain't it. No, but 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 here's the thing what I was saying. No, I get what you were saying. I'm just saying. Her, what she look like and all that ain't got nothing to do with it at all. We, I, but but I think we as men, we um especially in the early phases, we want the we want big booty Judy and everything. But 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 then we go without potential. a sale. That's what I'm saying. It, com it comes from yeah, it comes from home, and that's what I'm saying. That's why the Bible tells us to train them up in the way they should go. See if if like I was, like we had did the message a few weeks ago, and the Lord was giving me to let the people know it, there's a deficiency in our homes. We are we're, we're coming from broken homes. If it was a father in the house teaching the commandments of God, the men that's coming out of that man's house would know exactly the criteria and their and their pedigree and who they are as men of God. See, if there were men in the house, if there were men of God in the house training us up in the way we should go, the women wouldn't have been out here wearing wigs and makeup and rouge and doing all, putting themselves on solicited clothes, soliciting and whoring themselves out because that's exactly what we've been trained to do. We've been trained as a culture mm -hmm. to provocatively look at ourselves as sex objects so if we if it ain't skin tight it ain't right if it ain't if it ain't revealing it ain't right if we don't feel that we are seductive enough we don't feel no worthiness about ourselves so this all coming from go right back to that lesson we taught a few a weeks ago i taught a few weeks ago about having these broken homes having a deficiency see and, yeah. and, and mother a man a children need mother and father if that wasn't so jesus wouldn't have created i mean god wouldn't have created adam and eve 
Mm-hmm. That's a balance in a family dynamic. You come oh, and they're single mother. That's a that's a handicap house. That's like me growing up with a right arm and not having a left. Everything natural is spiritual. It's a handicap home, and it's going to show in their behavior. It's going to show in their decision making. It's going to show in their critical thinking. It's going to show in the way they handle and carry themselves. How they, where they come from, and you got men because they are natural born uh, 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 hunters. They know what to look for. So they know when this girl has been broken. They know when she came from a broken home. They know when it ain't no man in her life. And they you got some that just pre- natural born predators. They prey on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah man, I'm, I've been testament that. Me, me and my guys and my crew, when we were growing up, um, it, it'd be a certain type of female you see. And yeah. you knew it would be easy. Yeah. And, 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 and who don't have no standards? Who don't have no morals? Who don't have no self worth? And, and and all you gotta do is get her a bottle, and and and, 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 and probably play some play some Tupac or, or, or some Master P or something. And she good. Give it. Listen, like my listen. <laughs> listen, my pastor used to say. My pastor say, give her a butterscotch and she'll drop it like it's hot. And that's sad. <laughs> you give her a peppermint stick and, and 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 she'll slide down fifty poles for you for the whole night. And it's sad, but that is just the that's just the that's the lack of value our young women has grown to be. This is the low self esteem. They gotta wear fifty wigs in one day, and they gotta have. 50, I mean, everything to try to get the attention. They're seeking this love. They're seeking this validation. They're seeking validation from the male's perspective. And this is a normal thing, but when it's not managed properly, it can be chaotic because it can be generational and it can be, it can cause some, listen, nations go down. I'm mm-hmm. just saying, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, if we just put this thing in the proper perspective for real. It's not hard to tell who didn't have a parent, who didn't have the, the opposite parent, what men that didn't have women. It's, who didn't have a mother? It's not hard to tell because the same thing as you got these men praying on these women. Oh, you got these sisters that will have that brother tangled and mangled up, have him sliding down poles for a popsicle stick. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? So, okay, so I'm just saying, you know, what's good for the kids is good for the gander. You got them on both sides of the fence, yeah. but it's still a deficiency all the same. No matter who house is coming out of, it's a it's a it's a handicap. Like mm-hmm. I, like I say, my right eye without my left eye, my I'm I'm considered legally handicapped. My right arm without my left arm, I'm consideredly I'm considered legally handicapped. A man without a woman is considered handicapped. A woman without a man is considered handicapped. This is a handicap, and this is the way of our country. That's why the country that we live in decided to destroy homes separate the men from the wives Tear, take these men out of the homes they knew the crippling that would happen they knew the whole nation they knew the whole the whole country would fall like this they mm-hmm. knew when they took the men from a certain group of people from a group of people when they when they targeted this group and decided to take all their men take all the male species from them they knew the handicap and they knew the deficiency that it will cause. See, if you get the head, because the man is the head, you get the head, the body going to follow. Everything natural is spiritual. Amen. Blow his wig back. Get him in his head. Ride him like a doggone coyote and watch doggone you. You got, he'll ha, you'll have him doing any bleep, bleep, bleep. That's awful. Buying all crazy. You got these women that'll sex these men to death, bewitch them, comatose them, nothing but just pulling, my aunt and I, we like to say them sisters go in the vault, pulling all kind of tricks out on these young men. And having and raising a, a house full of young men, I let them know, according to the word of God, he tells you men not to give your strength to the woman. Amen. Period. Amen. Period. You mess yourself up. You do yourself a disservice the moment you begin to do that. I'm not saying you mishandle her because it's a balance. You got to learn. Husbands, love your wife for she is the weaker vessel. That's what the word of God calls us. We are the weaker vessel. How you know this is my weakness and you're going to give me this. You're going to, you know, I don't, you know, I can't count. You know mathematician is not who I am, but you're going to get me to handle the family finances. Why would you do that? For why? 
What sense do that make? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know I can't cook. Why would you give me why? Because you got some of these men that didn't cook. And if you love her, you'll send her behind over to the cooking class. You will, you will start helping her learn how to cook. Even if you got to go and take some time out in your marriage and go to the class with her so that she don't feel a certain type of way because it's not about breaking her. It's about building her up. This is what the men supposed to do. But, but, but probably there, 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 there's a the time when, when, when men do do that and then the woman is still in rebellion. Well, then that's, again, a man that findeth a wife. See, you knew what you was dealing with when you betrothed this rebellion sister. What you doing with rebelliousness anyway, and you a man of God? That's the last thing you need on your sleeve is rebellion, and you working for God. What you think? Okay, now, Samson, what you think that, where you think you going with that? See, everything has a look. You got to know what you got to be a good manager. And you got to know how to sift through these applications and know what's a good fit and what ain't. Woo, everything. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, boy, I I get excited. Everything natural is spiritual. You got to know, man, you got to. uh, That's why you got to be rooted and grounded in God. That's all I can say. I, mm-hmm. That's all. I, man, woman, boy, girl, child, baby, whoever you are, make sure you know the Lord. Don't go out here selecting these brothers. Don't go out here selecting these sisters. You better act like you know where you're supposed to be first. Yeah. Know where you're going before you know what you need to get there. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Before you know where you what you need to get there, you must first know where you going. Me and ladies, you going to have 18 years at least with that person. And it, 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 you probably sick and tired, sick, sick and tired, and sick and tired of every every moment of your life. But but because of the, the decisions that you made, I'll be emotional. Some of these feelings, some of these. Listen, I got some things that I I got some decisions that I've made in my life. When I tell y'all, I'm still I'm still I'm still reaping the repercussions. I'm God. God has forgiven me for them, but the repercussions you still gotta reap, baby. Yeah. See. You still got to go through what you got to go through because of the left turns you made in life, because of your ignorance, your ignorance. See, see what you don't know will kill you. Ignorance is bliss. You're okay. What you don't know, you better learn. You better know what you better find out something. I ain't making no decisions. I don't make no decisions <laughs> without invest. I got to dig it. I got to pull it. I ain't listen. I'm you telling you. No, no. I learned a little bit of something about a little bit of something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just go through here making all these bad turns, left turn, making all these left turns in life and ain't come out of there with nothing. Now, doggone it. I came out. I came out on the bottom, but doggone it, the the, the, the lessons learned. I can't, I wouldn't, I can't, I couldn't get that at Walmart. Foot Locker don't sell that. Rick's ain't got none of that. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn some. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of James, uh, 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 for the trials and tribulations, they work with patience. See, see your trials, everything that you go through, they causes you to develop a sense of patience that you ain't running out here hastily making all these old hasty decisions. Mm-hmm. You ain't running out here recklessly making all these hasty decisions that you can't undo. Mm-hmm. We got to get our grip, get some self-control. That, going back to the book of Ephesians, he say, mortify the deeds of your flesh. Get some self-control, control your mind. Get control of your mind. That's your responsibility. Get control of your eyes. What you looking at? What you watching on TV? Ooh, what you get control of your nose? I don't care what fragrance go past your face. You bet not even think about it. You better keep your face as a thing. You bet not do a triple take. I will slap your face. No, I'm just kidding. You what? What the avocado? Huh? You get peach apricot. Man, listen, you bet. I don't care what fragrance. Woo, whoa, hey, Jesus, help me. That's the first thing come out my my mouth. Lord, I need you right now. <laughs> Jesus, keep a Holy Ghost watch over this nose, oh God. Holy Ghost, keep a watch over these eyes. Head, don't turn. You got to start being honest with yourself. You know you seen something that's appealing to your eye. You better speak to them eyes like you got some sense. Eyes you bet not even think about it. You better control your body parts. The Lord tell us to control you. That's why you think folk locked up. If you had control, you wouldn't be locked up. If you had, if you've been doing with this, but if you see, 
if the house wasn't handicapped, if we haven't come out of these handicapped homes without a parent, and some of us come out of handicapped homes that have two parents, but they're still broken and handicapped. Mm -hmm. because he's sitting up in there without a spine and don't have nothing to say to his girls. How you don't know how to train your girls? How you don't know how to love and, and nurture? Because you know why? Because you don't first know how to love your wife because you keep disrespecting your wife. That's why you don't have that relationship with your daughters. Mm -hmm. Because you don't respect your wife. Now you got the nerve to try to put your daughters down when they running out here with three and four and five kids from all these men looking for love in all the wrong places. You want to talk down to them. No, 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 buddy. Uh, 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 no. no, 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 no. You played yourself. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. See, that was your home to manage. Those was God gave you those children, those yeah. girls. See, we got to get back to the root of it all. We I'm, rip off all band-aids. Coming out of all band-aids, doggone it. I'm sick of bleeding out. Let's find out. Let's go in and do some surgery. Let's stop the bleeding, period. Forget the gauze. Forget the band-aids. I don't want no more witch hazel. I'm sick of peroxide. I don't want to put nothing else. I don't want no more near sparring. I don't want to put no more nothing on these band-aids, on these bleeding wounds, on these old wounds. Let's rip off these band-aids. Let's just open, let's do some open hearts surgery what do we need to do what veil is closed in this body what arteries is plugged up what ain't going to the top floor let's figure this thing out because enough is enough Amen. we got two three four five ten generations later we still fumbling and got the same band-aids the same band-aids my grandmama and great grandmama no more is the same band-aids my mom and daddy no wearing and not even pass the same scars to me the devil is alive Return the sender. I ain't order none of that. Amazon, you can take that back. Mm -hmm. That ain't mine. Return to sender. Enough is enough. We got to stop accepting and opening the doors to all of this garbage and wonder why our lives is a mess. I'm just saying, you know, but you know, I'm set up a little different. My, my, the way my little onion is put together, I think I, my mind is set up a little different. That's just what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's time out for the foolishness. Enough is just enough. Mm -hmm. Enough is just enough. I'm tired of being sold out, pimped out by my mom and daddy. Uh-huh. See, she didn't show me how to provocatively dress so I can go out here and get the next drug dealer. So now she ain't got to do nothing. We going to love because, you know, if mama, if I get it good, mama, you know, I'm going to take care of you, mama. Yeah. I mean, it's like, come on, you sell, it, it, it's in the, excuse me, it's all in the Bible how parents are selling out their kids. And that's exactly what we're doing when we as women train our children up, our daughters up how to be seductive and provocative. All we're doing is then pass down this old Jezebel witchcraft spirit and these sex demons that the young girl can't shake. <clears throat> because the way them demons performed in me may, may, may show themselves different in her because we are two different personalities. So the sex spirits, I might have been able to have a lid on. She made them sex spirits may make her go homosexual, may make her go with animals, may bring her into bestiality. It may bring her into a hope because of course each generation that demon get worse and worse. It gets stronger and stronger. Because the whole objective is to take these kids and these generations further and further away from God. Period. That's the objective. We got to know we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We ain't fighting your mama. You fighting that demon in your mama that was passed down by your great grandmama, who she who who was raped by her her brother. So the, the so the family division is in the family. The the pet family pathology, the trust, the, the love, the the, the 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 that family that closeness that's that's gone. That protection, that family protection is no longer there. Now you got all the men in the family violating the little girls, violating the little boys. Everybody keeping all these secrets. You got Cousin Bobo raping all the nephews in the family. And everybody keeping a hush-hush on it. Nah, man. Expose that devil. We ain't sweeping nothing under the rug. That's why I'm so transparent, because I don't believe in I don't believe in hiding and sh I don't believe in keeping a keeping a devil secret. We, even if it's my own demons. I believe in exposure. Because when you expose it, then you know that devil is going to get up out of it. That devil ain't going to, he ain't going to, a thief is not going to operate when everybody in the house knows he's a thief. 
I used to always, I used to always, um, I used to always, um, what you call it, host. I was always host dinners and um, and things of such at my home. And I would let the sisters know when they come through the door, hey sisters, hold on to your purses, watch your stuff, I got a thief on deck. And trust me when I tell you, nothing would come up missing. My son would be like, oh my God, so shame. Of course you would. I'm not sitting here hiding that. See, a lot of us, that's what the devil does. He brings us into a, such a shame that we are afraid to be honest and brutal. Listen, my son raped my baby boy. We scared to say it. We scared to talk about that. The devil got us so shamed that we sitting on all these secrets and it continues to happen. It continues to happen. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not doing it. Look, Mother, Mother Norman, Norman look. Huh? Look Mother Norman just said. Mother Norman is a mess. Mother Norman said, off with their heads. <laughs> there you go, Mother. Right like that. Right I, I got my Mother Norman. Good morning, Mother. Good morning. Off with their heads, Mother. Exactly. But that's the thing. That's why we got so many handicaps because we are so shamed. We got children by different men. We're afraid to uh, say that. You know what I'm saying? We're afraid to say, okay, I, I messed up way before. I, I was told, come from the handicapped family. So I was totally ignorant and oblivious to, 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 to a lot of ethics, eth ethnics. So I was out here just, you know, freelancing, if you will. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Sister Tomorrow. We won't say it. Oh, I didn't. I was out here. I've been raped a couple times, and I got pregnant, and I end up going to get abortions. It's certain stuff. If we begin to speak this stuff, do you know how freeing that is? Do you know how freeing that is? I'm free because I don't hold in nothing. I'm gonna tell it all. <laughs> yep, my name is so and so and so and so. I got so and so and so and so. I got this, this, that. They be like, my. They like. I can appreciate your honesty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is what it is. This is who it is. Now what? Now how you I'm looking gonna, at me now? I'm going to get a buzzer for the broadcast. You have to get a buzzer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little sensor. <laughs> Why, bro? You know, you know some things that, that just be coming out. The oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know sometimes I'll be like, did I, I, look, I, read, I go watch the broadcast again. I'm like, did I tell them people all of that? Like, okay, I really got to remember that I'm on live. This is not a conversation between me and my friend. I mean, you know, y'all are my friends, but you know, I mean, well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? This ain't a private conversation. It's like, you got to remember that you're live. This is out there. I'll tell you the funniest one. Which, and that's the oh, one no. I'm about oh, to my God. God. Uh, okay, about the cucumber. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I got that, that. I'm a, you know when I get your I, I just laugh about that, man. I, <laughs> you're the transparency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey man, today is Friday, everyone. Friday, Friday, Friday. This is today's Friday, the end of the week. Amen. It probably, can you believe a week has gone by already? Yes, I'm, and I'm over here kicking myself in the head because I got so much. I got. I, I'm just like, oh my god, time, time, time. Me and this time thing. Mm. Yeah, man. I thank God. And God, God is God is real, y'all, and he he deserves to be praised. Amen. Those of y'all that have your um, names uh, that want to go on the prayer list this morning, y'all go ahead and add them to the broadcast. Please and thank you. We're going to um, we're gonna pray this morning over the name. Amen. 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 Why probably is doing that. Um... <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and do the Lord's Prayer. Amen. And then we're going to go ahead and do the Lord's Prayer to, just to have it out the way and pay, pray, pay reverence to our Father. Amen. I thank God. I thank God this morning. Um, those of y'all that don't know, the Lord's Prayer is found between Matthew uh, 6 
in the King James Version, um, Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. The Lord's Prayer is the prayer that Jesus Christ himself directed us to have uh, to go before the Father, Abba Father in heaven. This is the, this is the standard prayer, the prayer that we should all know, the prayer that we should all teach our children, teach, teach our loved ones, and most of all, th that we should know. Amen. And, and the Lord's Prayer goes like this. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallelujah, hallelujah, your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debt. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Sorry. No, you did yeah, add your remix to it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's Israel. Mm. They be coming here throwing me and Raya off with all her extra added stuff. I'm like, girl, we just forgot the prayer. <laughs> Amen. Sister Small said, Blessing, Prophet, and, and, and Prophet, God is good. God um, bless us, uh, Sister Smalls. Amen. Good morning, Sister McLeod. Amen. Um, Sister Small said, Jesus be a fence around me every day. Amen. Amen. And again, I'll greet the mother, Mother Norman. Amen. Uh, Sister Mary Johnson. Amen. Amen. We got some, we got some uh, soldiers on the on, on the broadcast. This amen. Morning. Amen. Amen. And uh, I think I saw uh, Minister Copeland on here as well earlier. I think so. <clears throat> I think I saw him as well. Lasagna, uh huh. Lasagna, yes, we're praying for you, baby. I'm uh, Miss McLeod. I'm um responding right now. Give me one second. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And then we're asking that again, everyone just to go ahead and send in their prayer requests, send in your names. You got aunties, uncle, cousins. You got Job go down the street and need prayer. Whoever we are going to pray for him this morning. Today is Friday. God got us to another week. Another another week. It, it, it could have been a week of turbulence. It could have been a week of destruction. But God saw fit to keep us. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. And I also I want to thank God for the prayers of everyone that that, that prayed for me this week. Um, I, I I wasn't feeling too good this week, so I thank God for allowing um, for allowing y'all to pray for me. So I thank God for you. Amen. Um. Hallelujah! Bless that wonderful name. You tell the church over that song on the price. Huh? <laughs> Say it again, prophet. You tell that song over that church in the church once. With the tambourine, what you talking about? Oh, you hear them? Oh my goodness! Power. That's the old. That's the old hymn right there, boy. That 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 that's gonna tell up any church. Let me see. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Amen. Amen. And then we're gonna keep um we're gonna keep the brothers and sisters in prayer this morning, amen. Um and I was thinking about some people that haven't seen in a while that, that haven't been on the broadcast. So I just want to call their name out into the atmosphere. And uh, I know, I know, I, I know that God in class is ear to hear the different people's names. But uh, I want to keep um, people name on that, like um, um, Miss Platt, uh, Sister Ashley Terrell, um, uh, Brother Ty, 
Keep him in prayer, amen. That's he's him and his fiance are going through some things. Keep Brother Mario Perry in prayer as he's um getting ready to um gear up for this surgery he, he has to have. Um uh there's so many names out here. Um we're gonna keep um Evangelist Neely and her family in prayer. Amen. Evangelist Neely and her prayer. Um we're gonna keep Sister Mary Johnson, Sister uh, Sister Sandra Johnson in prayer. Amen. Amen. We're gonna keep her in prayer. We're gonna keep the Bower family in prayer. We're gonna keep the Smalls family in prayer. We're gonna keep the Norman family in prayer. The Boyce family in prayer. We're gonna keep uh, the the, uh, the newly uh, joined uh, McLeod family in prayer. Amen. Amen. Um, well, we're gonna keep. Um, um, uh, Brother Sweet, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, uh, we're gonna keep Brother Sweet in prayer. We're gonna keep Prophet Wansley and Sister Ruth Wansley in prayer. We're gonna keep Ozzy and Veronica Buchanan in prayer. Um, we're gonna keep uh, Pastor Stanley and and Lady um, uh, Pat Hayes in in prayer. Oh, Sister uh, Ms., uh, Jamil, uh, uh, Tucker on the on deck. She said, "Good morning, kings and queens. Blessings day in the land in the Lord. Amen. 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 Good morning. Said, Good I morning. was off since I moved, not getting up as usual. I asked God to change that, and I've been getting up at five. Amen. Oh, she said she's been off since she moved. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta allow, but but be gentle to yourself because you gotta allow your body to transition time. You know, you gotta allow yourself." Nobody. This is a this is a cultural shock, baby. This is different. This this ain't this ain't this ain't a northern thing. This is a this is a this is a cultural shock. Yeah. It's it's a difference. Everything is different. Everything, and, and that's what happens when we go to the land, a different land. Amen. And um, we'll keep the Adams family in prayer. Amen. Please, keep uh, please. We're gonna keep the Warren family in prayer. Please, please. Um, uh, we're gonna keep Rhoda and Rona Warren in prayer. Please. Um, we're gonna keep Evangelist Nini and her uh, her her husband in prayer and their children and grandchildren. Amen. We got a lot of people on deck. I'm sorry, Prophet. I, uh, um, okay, brother, I, I, brother Walker. I, brother Walker in the building. I don't. I didn't see none of this. I, I, my mind is not scrolling up. My oh, mine don't do none of that. If I don't go stroll it, it'll be stuck. It say they have not because they asked. What is am I in yesterday's prayer? <laughs> am, I, am I in yesterday's message? Wait a minute. Oh, I don't even think I'm on deck. <laughs> okay, I need to get right. Well, hold tight. Sad. And, I, and me and my sweater don't help at all. <laughs> it be, it's been getting crazy around. Okay, yeah, I'm in. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus, help us today. Okay, Lord, help me. Yep, I need help. Yeah, pray for that. Yeah, we're going to keep the Adams family in prayer with the Warren family, the Nee family, the Shaw family. Um, we're gonna keep the Humphrey family in prayer, and I want to say happy birth, happy, happy belated birthday to my to my father Sammy, to Sammy Humphreys. Amen. Thank God, love you, Dad. Yeah, um, amen. Um, uh, thank God for that young man. <laughs> um, amen. Uh, 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 keep keep the Humphrey family in prayer. Keep the Henderson family in prayer. Keep Mom and Pop Henderson in prayer. Also, I want to keep my um my one year old little cousin uh, Colton in prayer as well because um he's adapting to me not being around anymore. So he's looking around the house for me and he don't see me. He called he called me by his little name. He called me Baba. He going around trying to he said what Baba what Baba. So so he going around trying to find big cousin. I you know I, I made I made I called him yesterday and and he they say he's looking around the house. Trying to crawl around the house trying to find. And too bad they ain't figured out how to. Too bad they could. They don't know how to answer the phone if you call them from Messenger or call I'm, them I'm, Facetime. I'm, I'm paying for a service that they don't even know how to use. And I, 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 I showed them the millions of times. I said, "Mom, you gotta know how to do this. You gotta get caught up with the technology." So, but you know, how people yeah, I started teaching my mother how to text and how to. You know, we got her. I got her a phone. 
a smartphone and start teaching her some stuff so how to get on there and go online and look at uh, uh, look up stuff and search for stuff she wanted to buy and uh, Amazon and stuff mm -hmm. and I don't, yeah 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 so now she got it so the, so the kids can FaceTime her the, the, you know my kids they can oh they, uh, Graham's know how to I said Graham Graham crackers know how to do it. I said yeah she she kind of she kind of nice on the phone. She know how to text and send texts and check text. She's been sending all kind of emojis. I'm like, what? What she know about this? <laughs> like, what in the world? I mean, they be on point emojis too. She be sending the right ones. <laughs> like, okay. I think it's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God. Anybody, y'all, we have prayer. We're gonna be praying. Listen, we praying for our youth. I, I did a, uh, we're praying for our youth. I, you know, I did a message a few weeks ago and we was talking about, um, about the just coming out of those handicapped families. And I'm telling you, that causes the issues that a lot of our young women is dealing with today. Picking these, picking the wrong type of men and having our families oppressed. Our, you know, being in all these vexed relationships and it's, 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 it's heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking. And I'm telling you, if you go back and check, if you go back and check our history, you'll find out that we didn't have fathers in the house or fathers that didn't care that was in the house or fathers that was abusive that was in the house. Fathers that was going through what they was going through and, and was coping the, the best way they knew how because they didn't have a father and they didn't have a father and the father before them didn't have a father. And it's, this thing started way back in slavery days. Mm -hmm. And the oppressing day when they turn their back on God. See what happens when you don't deal with God? Oh, you gonna get punished. You may get away, but you gonna get by. You gonna be in slavery. You may be enslaved by that brother that that you think he loves you so much he put his fist down your throat. That ain't love, baby. That's control. That's that's witchcraft. Uh oh, that's the wrong one. That's witchcraft. Yep, you gotta be careful. I just just Mother Loma said my brother my brother turn turns, he's going to have surgery reverse to get the colossal bag off him. September they're going to do the surgery off on him again. And my nieces with these babies and baby Clayton um know the children that they kind of school the four corners of the earth back and again and above beneath and special preference Prophet Adams and Prophet Smith. We had to cover them in all times. These are our jewels that God has given us in the soul in the sound doctrine. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I'm gonna tell y'all oh, a Bible study will be tonight. Um, we're, we're back again, and we got a good a good topic tonight in Bible study, people. Yeah, so y'all be ready at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. It's a good people. It's a good people. Probably um, men probably have been hitting on this morning. It's, it's about Jezebel. Mm. So, y'all want to know about the y'all want to know about the breakdown of Jezebel? We're gonna be talking about it tonight. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Anybody else have any prayer requests? Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Sometimes before we realize what we got ourselves into, we in so deep, we don't know if we going or coming. <laughs> Mother Norm, Mother Norm is a yay. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. You know what? It's the, I mean, I'm just being honest. It's refreshing being around women that are striving to be more, striving to be like Christ. Because you don't have that at, uh, around all the time. It's it, that's true, and that's so true. You don't have women that 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 that, that, that wanna that that, that wanna actually serve and, yep. and then not only just serve but 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 be but, but be um but you know just I mean I mean just be one of the number. I mean just, just out there ready to battle. 
Bet on for the poll. Yep. You got so many, have so many people out here that, um, that their intent is so selfish and, 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 and they want to drain everything out of you. Yeah. All they can. Yeah. And, and, and you're so right because we have to realize, I was just pondering and thinking on some things on yesterday. I had a, yesterday was a wonderful day. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was a wonderful day. It, it was, it was a test, another series, another, another, another round of testing, and um, I just chalked it up at the end of the night and said this was a great day. You know, period. What, what else can you say? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on but 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 if you go in this direction. You got to say this. Won't he do it? 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 You know, and and um. I, 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 I just, I just realized that we have to change our perspective. We have to change our mindsets. We have to change. We have to switch. Listen, I don't be over here switching and flumbling and moving around for nothing. Sometimes you got to change your position in the seat you sitting in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mother Norman, um, what's your brother's name so we can add him to the prayer list? There's a friend of mine, Mario Perry. He, oh, Terrence, okay. All right. Let me make sure you tell him this morning. And now I also want, I want to keep um, uh, the Tessa Go in prayer still, and um, Aquita Heath and Ramon Go. And I want to keep all these people in prayer. Amen. God is, God is good. He's faithful to us, y'all. We just got to be faithful to Him. I want to keep uh, Tyler Smalls in prayer as he's overseas. Keep Tyrone Smalls as he go up and down the hall. To Tyrone Senior, um, Tyrone Small Senior as he go up and down the hall. Now the, the highways and byways. Amen. Amen. Keep it ahead of protection over Sister Smalls as she goes into that um, the mental health ward every day and going to work. Amen. Keep it ahead of protection over, over, over Sister Bowler, Sister Brandon. Mother Norman, Amen. Uh, Samir, um, Sister Nixon, Amen, Amen. What's your niece' name, Poverty? What's who? Your niece who had just been coming on this week. Uh, um, Jamila. Jamila, okay. You keep her head of protection over the head of protection over Jamila Tucker and, and McLeod. And, she's and, a part of it. Yeah, she's uh huh. They, there's three or four or four of them, about four of them. They all a part of that. They all a part of the the niece factors. And they go quick, quick. Yeah, the, okay. our babies. Yeah, they're all in transition. They're all they're all trying to. They're young women, young 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 ladies, young young mothers, young young women, young mothers, young single women, trying to mm -hmm, trying to. They see in some things that we've been talking about. They see these things in our family pathology and family dynamic and in their own personal lives. They're seeing some of this stuff that we've been talking about. And they and they and they're they're ready to step to the plate and make some changes. And it's gonna take and it and it takes a lot of courage. See this see so when you start when you start talking about change, you start when you start talking about changing and start moving and changing and shifting things, this is when you start challenging and start digging deep. This is when you start dealing with self because now you're starting to, you're starting to see who and what you are really made of. Mm -hmm. You start saying, if you want to got some good courage, if you got boldness, I mean, if you got courage, if you got um, faith, you start seeing if you, if you got fear, if you operate in fear, because I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I can't move. I'm scared to move. You start knowing who and what's in you. This is God showing you what you're dealing with. Depression, 
that those those are these are spirits. These are spirits that comes to destroy us. We can't get rid of depression. We must be delivered. See this because because this is not a this is not a flesh and blood thing. Those are spirits. Those are demonic oppressions, anxiety, depression, oppression, um, fear, um, the spirit of abandonment. Um, just you know, and that spirit of abandonment may lead women and men to start. Um, searching for the wrong type of individuals you may be searching for a feeling and not searching for something that you know that that's with substance so now you start making a covenant and getting in these relationships with the wrong type of people because you've had this hunt done to you now you need to do this to compensate that so this is what i'm saying we got so many demons what's in you gonna drive you i say that often what sin you gonna draw? You may not know what sin you because you've never heard it before. So you don't know how to pinpoint it. You just can explain how you feeling, but you don't know what the name of it is. You know, I'm just feeling like this, or I'm feeling like that. But oh, well, that's depression. Or, I'm just, I feel like every time Susie's come around, I just feel like, oh, that's anxiety. Okay, something is there, something going on. Rather it be something that he remind he or she reminds you of. It's, 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 it's something that traumatic that happened in your life, in your youth. If you we, if you pay attention to who we are today, the things that we are experiencing in our lives today, mm. and you take that thing back, if you dig deep enough, stop putting band-aids on it, rip that flipping band-aid and open surgery, cut the thing down to the bone. Let's figure out where this doggone infection is at. Let me see what an infection. Let Let's kill the infection at the root. Let me pour some antifungal down up in there. Let's get and kill that thing at the root. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to deal with and know. And that's what the Holy Ghost does for us. I'm speaking of it on a natural level. But the Holy Ghost come and do that without cutting us open. He come to do surgery. He don't have to cut us open. Because he can see right through us. He already know everything. Right. So he come to show us and bring things up like, oh, you know, you was abandoned when you was a kid. Do you remember that you was raped by your sister? Do you remember you was raped by your brother? Do you remember your dad and your uncle was fondling you? OK, you blocked all that stuff out. No, I didn't remember. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why when I'm counseling, when I do when I do um, mentor, when I'm mentoring folks, women, especially when I'm mentoring men, too, I, I got the same progress. But it's always it's always sending them back. You got to go. Come on. We got to go back. We got to talk about this thing. We got to go back. We got to go back. We got to go back. And I'm telling you, it's tough. You got to, it's going to take some courage to be able to deal with it. See, when you start ready for change, you got to be ready for the change because change comes with you got to deal with some stuff. It's going to be some stuff you're going to have to go back and deal with. So we talked about that. You got to go back down memory boulevard. You got to go back. I mean, you got to go back down. When you made that right, you supposed to made a left at. When you when you made that left, you supposed to make you a right. You then went down left street, went to the left, to the left. And you went to the left, and yeah, and you. And it always, and we always have to find ourselves after we didn't got miles and hours and years and and months and down the road on left street, we didn't realize this is a dead end. After 15 years and 15 years of 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 left left street, after you made that turn, now you got to go all the way back. You got to walk all the way back them 15 years. Hot toe, Molly. What you talking about? You got to go all the way back down, and you got to go like, what do I need to do to make this? Now you got to go undo that. Some things you may can't undo down that road. You just gonna know that when you get on right street. The repercussions behind that mess gonna be sitting there waiting for you. It, it, you may get my great grandma say, you may get away, but you ain't gonna get by. You understand what I'm saying? And I, if you're anything like me, you want to get rid of all what you need to get that thing right in this life. I don't want nothing following me in the next. I want to repent in this life because if you don't repent and confess in this life, you're gonna be in hell in the next because you're gonna pay for it. You don't repent. You don't fall on your face and reverence him in this life. You gonna pay for him. You gonna pay for, for not doing that, and then the repercussions is hell bound. I ain't doing that. Yeah. That's why I always, I always mentor. I always try to, you know, I, I try to break it down and I try to help as much as I, you know, allow the Holy Ghost to assist as much as possible. Yeah. 
And then, so we're going to um, add um, <clears throat> Mother Norman's brother, um, Terrence, on the list this morning. Um, um, uh, Brown, last name? Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. help, help us today. I was asking Mother Brown, mother, I was asking Mother Mother Norman, is Brown the last name? For, for, for Mr. Terrence? Oh. <clears throat> Good morning, Sister Nixon. And Boyce. His last name is Boyce. Boy, that's what I meant to say, Boyce. Listen, I'm telling you. I, I have I have some mentees. I have some mentees that's like, look, I, I can't do that. I can't go down that. But it's going to, when you start doing changing and making drastic changes in your life, far as getting saved and, 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 and leaving, packing your bags and why he at work, you packing up and leaving, you and the kids bouncing, you start making preparations, you start making arrangements to go to the shelter, making arrangements to go and stay with Auntie Woo Woo down in her basement with the kids for about a month, clearing yourself. Listen, it's over. So folks don't know how to say some folk don't know how to some men and some men ain't gonna let sisters walk away and you got some some sisters gonna have to you're gonna have to think out the box you know what i'm saying maybe i've been watching too much tv <laughs> or you know but them brothers they don't some of them brothers ain't gonna let them sisters walk they didn't found them a slave and they is they this is the caveman days they think they can talk down to her mishandle her. she's beautiful and foxy when she go outside every hair in place every eyelash on place always on point always in the finest clothes always you know the best dress in the city and this this that 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 but being mishandled and mistreated and beat down on every level in her in her emotions not being lifted not feeling away just just and then some people just outgrow those people that they was young and in love or young and crazy with they just you just realize you just come to yourself this is why i told my daughters and my sons you should not have no boyfriend girlfriends in in your life period you need to learn who you are first you don't want to open up a door i'm so grateful and so thankful that i have one or two out the bunch that listen for a while i got baby girl she's still paying attention she's still like look i you know this you know having this granddaughter in the house she like uh-uh this is all the birth control i need i ain't feeling this this ain't it yeah this ain't it and, and i'm grateful for that she like i might like, listen don't give yourself to listen when you start getting a boyfriend all you doing is saying i'm on a discount rack that's what that is when you got a boyfriend you discounted yourself down and you sold yourself out for this one you settled for this one instead of holding yourself out to wait for your king instead of continue to prepare yourself for to be chosen and selected by the king that's what we do i've done it so i'm not talking down to the young women and the young men that's done these things because i'm speaking from an experience that i did and I wish I had somebody that was teaching and telling me like I'm teaching and telling my daughter. All in her ear, all in her face. Hey, snatching her up, keeping her with me. Come on, let's go. We about to go do, 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 do. Let's go. Do you feel like you want to go do this? Let's go. What you want to do today? What we doing this weekend? You know, because we have to stick and keep them close to us. We can't, we can't just be so busy on our own with our own agenda. I want to go out and pop lock. So I'm gonna let her stay with Susie. I'm gonna send her over to grandma's house. I'm gonna no, nah, that ain't their responsibility. No. Let's pray for um, Terrence. I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we have to be careful. Hallelujah. I just thank God. Be encouraged. Sister Nixon came on. Amen. Mother Nixon and came on. Let me see. I want to pray. Um, I want to pray for um. For Miss uh for Miss McLeod. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, my God. 
Amen. But well, we're going to go ahead and pray, y'all. We're going to we ask that everyone open up their hearts and your minds and your soul and your body and just begin to just, just concentrate on the on the Lord. Concentrate on how sweet he's been to us. Concentrate on on, on, on on the time when you didn't have and all the opportunities and, 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 the, and the things that God has done for you. And we thank you, Lord, Father, for you are wonderful. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. God, you are excellent. The question was posed so many years, years ago, how excellent is thy name, O oh Lord? Lord God, nobody knows the answer, but we just know how sweet you are to us, Lord Father. Oh Lord God, right in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now, God. Lord, Lord we come to you humbly, Lord Father. And we just want to come to you and we say we love you, Lord God. And we ask right now that you will forgive us for all sins, Lord God, the known and the unknown, Lord Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I want to pray for the young ladies um, this morning, Lord Father. Yes, God. Yes, God. I want to pray for the young ladies this morning on the broadcast. Oh, God. This morning. Oh, God. The young ladies that reached, the out, reached out, Lord Father, they're pulling at the hem of your garment. Lord, 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 you see the need, Father God. Father God, Father God. They knew to their Lord, generation of bloodline that things didn't go right, things didn't feel right, and things weren't right, Lord Father. But Lord God, I pray that you would just begin to just minister to, to them, Lord Father. Fill them with your precious the Holy Ghost, Lord Father. Give them insight, Lord Father. Let them be able to know um, the, the, uh, the things of Christ and, and the righteous ways, Lord Father. Oh, and, and Lord God, whatever mistakes they have made, and, and Lord God, if there's, if, if there's depression, if there's suppression or oppression around them, Lord Father, or, or any kind of hurt, Lord Father, oh Lord God, we send that back to sender, Lord Father. We counsel the assignment of the enemy that want to take the um, young women and, 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 and do away with them, Lord Father. And Lord God, Lord, I pray that virtue will come back to the women, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. Jesus. Everybody, oh, everybody, who's, everybody who's oh, in the group, Lord oh, Father. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lord, everyone will begin to speak the same Jesus. language, have Lord mercy, Father. Have everyone will begin to cry oh, Lord, and seek your faith, Lord, Lord Father, in the name oh, of Jesus, Lord oh, Father. And deliverance will go forth this morning, Lord Father. And the Holy Spirit will just go, go, go to and fro between all of them, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord I Father. Know, a I new tongue, a new song, Lord Father, in their hearts, Jesus. Lord Father. And they will be delivered this morning, Lord Father. Oh, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Lord, 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 a lot of the young women in that group have been hurt by the men in their lives, Lord Father. Been hurt by the women. Hurt, hurt by the women in their lives, Lord Father. But, Lord God, you've been the one covering them. You've been oh, Jesus, keeping them, Lord God, Father. My you've been, God, you've been, you've been delivering God. them through all seeking the infirmity <laughs> Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, right Jesus, now, Father, God. I just pray that you just continue to keep them, Lord Father. <laughs> Miss McCall, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Keep her right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, touch her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Deliver her from all infirmities and, and, and just any wrongdoings, Lord Father. But Lord God, I pray, Lord, that she'll be connected to this ministry, Lord Father, and she'll be on fire and she'll be able to just keep going for you, Lord Father. Oh, right keep her today. Oh, keep her, Lord God. Oh, oh and, Lord, and also keep Miss uh, Jamila as well, Lord Father. Yes, Keep her mind, Lord Father. Keep her soul. Yes. Keep her spirit, Lord Father. Lord, get her a new dance yes, become Lord. a dance yes, that, you, that, that you will be approved of, Lord Father. Oh, God, let her be a son of your Jesus. sight, Lord Father. <clears throat> Don't let her tear in them old things, yes, but she do too, Lord Father. But bring, her oh, into, but bring her back into your remembrance, Lord yes, Father. God, Lord, in the name thank of you, Jesus. Lord Father, for her health, her strength, her mind, yes, her soul, her body, Lord Father. Transform her mother into one of their minds, God. Her mind, God. Now her friends belong to you, Lord yes, Father. Ms. Ms. The enemy thought they had them, Lord Father, but, 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 but they belong to you, Lord Father. They were yours first, Lord Father. You called them out that name before they were very existent, Lord Father. They were seen, God. So right now, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. All right now, Lord God. We pray for Brother Terrence this morning, the Brother, Brother Terrence Boyce this Terrence, morning, Lord Father. Yes, yes, we pray yes. for his mind, his soul, his body, his spirit, Lord Father. I pray, Lord God, that he will come back into remembrance of you, Lord Father. He'll begin to kneel and worship you, Lord Father. Touch oh, his body, his soul, today in the name of Father. Jesus. Father, you all kind of sit oh, God, and we rebuke every spirit. We rebuke every spirit. We rebuke the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Savior, Lord Father. Keep him in your perfect peace. Keep him in your perfect will, Lord God. 
Lawrence. Oh, well, right now, if there's anything lacking in him that's not right, Lord Father, I pray that, I pray that you would send your angels to minister to him, Lord Father. Oh, Lord God, in fact, Lord Father, you have an angel in his life right now, Mother Lord, Lord Father. I pray that you would be able to speak to him and speak the word to him, oh, Lord God. Father, and, 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 Lord, and be able to cover him in his time, Lord Father. But at the same time, Lord Father, I pray that he would be able to receive the word that you are speaking to him through her, Lord Father. In the name of peace, yes, Lord God, have oh, your way. Have your way, you're worthy, God. You are worthy. Touch the door in the home. Touch the boy's home this morning. Touch the small phone this morning. Touch the small phone. Right now, in the name of Jesus. As she goes to the. Yes, God. Yes, God. As she goes to her job every day. And she gives her family, Lord Father. And Lord God, I pray, Lord Father, that the family will be able to see the light in her, Lord Father. And they will be drawn to that light, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. And Lord God, she'll begin to pray and minister to her family members, Lord Father. The unsaved man, they say, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, touch her husband right now in his unbelief, Lord Father, where he may be confused. With, in the name of Jesus. Be, um, um, he might not understand certain things, yes, Lord God. Father, but, yes, but Lord, Lord God, we serve a God that, 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 that he'll clear up all, all kind of misunderstandings, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Touch him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet, Lord yes, Father, in the name yes, of Jesus. God, in the name oh, of touch Jesus. all her children. Lord. Uh, Tajay, uh, Tierra, uh, Hallelujah, Tyler, right now, God. Tyler, we need you today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, right now, right now, Father. Lord, Lord, Lord I pray for yes, the Nixon family. In the name morning, of Lord, Jesus, Father. touch the Nixon, Nixon family, Lord, Lord, Lord Father. God. Touch them wherever she goes, Lord Father. Touch yes, the children and yes, grandchildren, Lord yes, Father. In the name of yes, Jesus, Lord God. In the name Lord, of Lord, Jesus. God, right now, Lord God, we just pray to, uh, and we plead the blood of Jesus over them right now. In the name of Jesus. One by one, name by name, God, God, you are worthy, Lord. We trust you, God. We trust you. I trust you. Accidents, Lord Father. In the name of Jesus, just in keep the them right now. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord God. Oh, right now, Father, right now, Father, I want to pray with Sister Mary Johnson this morning, Lord Father. Yes, Lord. Lord God, the Johnson home, Lord Father. I thank you for, I thank you for her new walk, Lord Father. I thank, thank you for her new dedication, thank thank Lord Father. Thank oh, Lord, I thank you for her, her, her deliverance that she's going forth in, Lord Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, Lord, that, thank that, that the gift of the Holy Spirit will just fall upon thank her, Lord Jesus. Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord and, and when it does, Lord Father, she's going to be able to contain herself, Lord Father. She'll be like, the, 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 and she'll be like, you've been here all this time, Lord Father. She'll be able to cry. She'll be able to dance. She'll be able to sing, Lord Father. She'll be able to just give you the glory and the power and the honor, Lord Father. Oh, Lord God, right now, for you are, Lord, you yes, are God. her Lord, yes, Father. Lord. You are the one and only children and grandchildren, Lord Father. Keep everyone in her. Keep them children from her home and danger, Lord. In her home, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. Let me just thank you, Lord Father. The Lenica Henderson family. Lord, come our brother Yusuf, Lord Father, and every all her siblings, Lord, Sandra, and everyone else, Lord Father. Yes, uh, all the ones that, that, that I may not I may not know the names of, but keep them in your perfect peace keep and keep them, them in your perfect will, Lord Father. Oh, and we just thank you. Oh, God, I pray that you will move over into the Adams home, Lord Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, yes, Lord. 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 Just, just our province to Adams, Lord Father. Touch you, your mind, touch your soul, God. touch your spirit, Lord Father, touch your body, Lord Father. Oh, Lord, Lord God, I pray that you will, uh, whatever you pour it out, Lord Father, put it, put it back in for Lord, Lord Father. With a double dose of, of the anointing, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, Lord, I pray that you would touch our children, Lord Father. Oh, Lord, touch our government, Lord Father. Touch your grandchildren, Lord Father. It's a blessing to see your grandchildren, Lord Father, in the name. It's a blessing to be amongst the land of the living, to have grandchildren, to have children, Lord Father. And, and just to see your seeds every day, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. So I thank you for the woman of God. Lord, and I pray for I pray for Bishop Adams as well, Lord Father. I pray, Lord Father. I pray, that, I pray that the lineage will continue to grow, Lord Father. Multiply, Lord Father. No more death, Lord Father, but increase in their numbers, Lord. Increase in faith, Lord Father. And Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just pray that the Holy Spirit will just begin to just move, Lord Father. Oh Lord, so many names that we have that we called out early on this broadcast that been on this broadcast for in a while, Lord Father. Pray for Miss Platt, Lord Father. Touch Miss Platt this morning, Lord Father. Oh, Lord, God, touch the woman's head to the top of her uh, head to the soul. Yes, Lord. Just ask you to rail, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, oh Lord, God, touch uh, Prophet Wensley and Sister Ruth Wensley in, in the prayer room. Oh, Lord, Lord God, touch the, uh, the, 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 the disciples of, of Kenya, Lord Father, in the, yes, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And, oh, Lord, Lord, I just pray that you go over there and just touch all the ministers, uh, Pastor Wycliffe, Pastor Haroon, Lord Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Lord, yes, Lord. 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 Lord.
today. Help us today. Help us today. Oh, God, I pray, Lord, that everyone will get a touch of global intercessory prayer, Lord, Father. Whenever we come on, Lord, Father, let the Holy Spirit be there, Lord, Father. Because wherever you are, Lord, God, there is liberty, Lord, Father. And so, God, we ask for liberty just to be able to flow this morning, Lord, Father. Father. Oh, Lord, God, right now, Father, Lord, as we go into the broadcast tonight, Lord, Father, um, with, with, um, uh, with the Friday night Bible study, let the people come in and let them receive the word tonight, Lord, Father. And as properly that myself are praying through the day, Lord, Father. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just pray for the people today, Lord, Father. I pray for the, everyone whose name we called and the names of who we didn't call out, Lord, Father. But, Lord, that, that every name will be covered, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord, Father. All right now, we just thank you for your grace, your mercy, your knowledge, yes. your wisdom, and your understanding, your Lord, guidance, Father. Oh God, and your guidance, you, Lord, Father. You, Lord. you are the great I am that I am, Lord, Father. Oh, Lord, you are the job of 